just love this game. I love the Elder Scrolls games because they're so funny. Uh, any more chests? Oh, this looks like a chest. Yes, it is. And iron boots. Yay! Finally, some heavy armor. It's exactly my size too, that's amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Another chest. Is this looted? No it isn't. Maple eye stuff, let's take that. Staffs are funny. But I think I'll be using sword or axe or something. More light armor. Seriously? Give me some... Like, I just want some heavy armor. Or more heavy armor, I should, I should say, because I already have some. My boots are better than my pants. This is a sneaky place. If anyone could find me in here, then I would be amazed. But let's keep going. Is this a chest? Yes, it is. Yay, more light armor. This is so great. Wow, we're really getting armed here. This is going to be so helpful when we get out into the world. No, I get stunned by those things. To press that button. Where are we even supposed to go? I'm always getting lost in here. The only thing I, the only thing I disallowed. Can I speak English today? Thank you. Uh, the only thing I dislike about this is that there is pretty much just light armor, but. Uh, almost only melee weapons so well I guess it's supposed to be uh, a little of each but there aren't or there isn't really a lot of medium armor which is surprising because it feels like the least amount of people use light armor oh yeah well I guess we could use that shield I'm probably going to use a shield as my secondary on my second slot. Because I'm dual wielding stuff on my main character, so why not use a shield here? Oh, two handed. Well, maybe two handed, I don't know. We'll go through the perks later to see what seems to be the best. Two-handed stuff does more damage, but uh, well, I'm more tanky with this. I don't know. I'm, I'm a pretty good tank in all the games, except for League of Legends. I wanted a good tank there. But I still play a lot of League of Legends. Sometimes I'm wondering if I play too much. But well, maybe three games per week or something. So that's not really too much. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. Oh, and that is something I want to dodge, I think. Yes. <coughs> but I've started to play more and more League of Legends, actually. But it's a funny game, I think. I mean, there are better games out there, I think, but uh, or funnier games. But League of Legends is still really a good game. Uh, is that a chest? No, it's a trunk. Nope, not a chest in here. So let's keep going. Yay. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Oh yeah. There he is. 
Hi. I'm supposed to talk to Lyris. Oh, I'm taller than her now. We've really gotten a lot of armor in here. Wow. 30, 21, and 24. That's like 45 plus 30 is 75 or something. I don't, I don't know. I think so. 75 armor. Well, my belt is better than that on my main character, but <laughs> whatever. Good news is we made it here in one piece and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. Oh no, what do you mean? Where are you going? I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Don't do it, Laris. There must be another way. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. I'll keep him safe. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Well, am I supposed to remove my own eyes and stick them into his head because that feels kind of wrong because he needs your eyes that my eyes come on I need them too and that would really be a good game if everything was just a black screen all the time or a white screen or a purple screen or an orange screen I mean I, orange is my favorite color but I wouldn't want a screen or I wouldn't want to pay like fifteen dollars a month a month just to see everything orange. Why am I such a derp? I, I'm just wondering. Oh yeah, I understand. Good luck. Bye. So I think I fell down here for the first time. I played. Well, I kind of do the same thing again. So this quest is kind of useless because you just gotta run back and forth and deactivate these little crystal things. Just a waste of time if you ask me. And I think there is another quest like this right after it. I give myself so that the prophet might be free. I hope you're, you'll be doing well, Liris. See ya. Oh, look at my hands. Hey, you're an Imperial. I'm an Imperial too, but you're ugly and I'm not. <laughs> nah, he's just, he's looking really sad. Talk. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that. Lyris sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Alright. Um, can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible. I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to risk in her together. Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self. A soul in this world. An empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. Yeah, see, he read the Elder Scrolls. Come on. And then you hear Lyris scream in the background. Makes it so much better. Why does Lyris call you the Prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost here to me. Years of torment. All right, anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Kodhar. 
I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must leave me to it. Alright, stay close then. Let's jump down here. <laughs> Come on, follow me. <laughs> Would be so funny if I just jumped in and he followed. I don't really get it because he's blinded, but he perfectly avoids this huge hole in the middle. Poor little Lyris. Can you see her in there? I can. Don't know how this video will be on YouTube though, so maybe the quality is all messed up. <sighs> Wait, where are we where are we going? Over here? Yeah. You're still following? Good. Well, let's go over here. Mind the stairs. How can you be blind? Come on. Alright. So this is actually creepy. I am the face of Nain. The souls of the damned are my weapons. You will know eons of suffering. So they actually changed the way Moloch Brawl looks here in the star area. Come on. Also they re I, I, they pretty much reworked everything in here cuz well, before there was like a huge snake woman that you had to fight, and there were no skeletons, and this thing was in the air, and Molagbal just stood there, didn't like crawl up the hole over there, and he pretty much said something, uh, so the uh, something fights back, how I'm using, I think that was what he said, so we'll level up, yay, um, what are we going to level up now? Maybe magic again. Or help this time, I think. Yeah. Uh, Dawn's Wrath. What's that? Deals 18 flame damage and an additional 12 flame damage over 4.5 seconds. Snares 40% for 4.5 seconds. Nah, nah. Can't we unlock anything here? Maybe some racial ability would be cool. No? Not possible? Blacksmithing! <laughs> uh, armor, heavy armor. We could use that, but no. We don't. We pretty much don't have any heavy armor right now. So, uh, one handed and shield. Let's do that one. Seems cool. So now we got to talk to the prophet. Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to learn in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. A shard of ethereal magic. Oh, a sky shard. <laughs> Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Sorry that I forgot to read the sky shard before. I shouldn't have forgotten that. But, um... Yeah, let's, uh... Well... No, forget what I just said. Let's something, I don't know what I was going to say there. But anyway... Um... This... 
thing that you gotta now you gotta take get the sky shard but before there was a quest before this where you had to like activate two crystals on each side of the anchor thing yeah but yeah I'm ready let's eat the sky shard because you had to go and activate this thing and that thing and then this would activate well, meh. Maybe there's a chest over here. Is that a chest? No, that's just a trunk. Right? Yeah. Wine grapes. There's gotta be a chest around here somewhere. Can we go? No. Couldn't go back. Or I can't go back. Isn't there a chest here somewhere? There's gotta be, right? No. Maybe not. Hmm. I thought I found a chest last time I was here. Oh, well, uh, I think I've played through this five times or something. But the first time I w went here, I think I checked everything. I'm pretty sure I found a chest. Lockpick. Hmm. That's also just a trunk, right? Yeah, it just looked suspicious. Suspicious. So many lockpicks. It's actually pretty useful to walk around and just pick up all the lockpicks. I'm taking such a long time though. That trunk was empty. Come on, why can't I? Just there we go. Would have been easier to just walk around. Oh, lockpick. Well, should we just walk back to the Prophet and get out of here, perhaps? Mm, let's check this one. No, nothing useful. Lockpick though. Yeah. And those were the grapes. Yeah, let's get going. A sky shard. Oh my, it's a sky shard, so cool. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be open. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Ah! Alright. Ah! Stone Falls! Yay! <sighs> Stone Falls is a pretty cool place, but I I think I prefer the Sean, and I'm looking forward to entering Skyrim, like Riften and uh, what else? Oh, did you see that bright color at first? Hmm. I wonder what he's going to say now. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning. How long was I unconscious? The void between worlds was both chaotic and violent. It deposited us in Tamria, but some distance apart, and quite unceremoniously upon our heads. I lost consciousness myself for a time. 
what he just said something that didn't really answer my question but the text over here answers my question I think like days weeks I cannot tell the voyage between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space I know only that you were deposited into the sea and some shared Bold soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. What should I do now? So now I think his voice. Or the audio told, like said the answer on my, answered my question better than the text. But well, this is just glitched out. When will I see you again? I cannot. Be seen again. But we will be. There is still much we need to accomplish. All right. Complete quest. Remember. Alright, so once again he did not say what it says here. Uh, you can read that yourself. I, I won't read all of this. Where should I go? Whatever. So let's open this and see what we get. We get Cadwell's Lost Robe. Oh, that's just great. That's really great. Sentinel Slash A bow hmm. I wanna use this one Even though it's light armor it's still better than what I had Cause what did I use before? This one Yeah Catwell's Lost Robes Is there anything in here? Or anything else? Uh, oh, goat soup recipe or something. Like that. So let's go. Journal. No quests. None. Literally. None. Ah, so. Sad. Reno probably saved me because I woke up in his house I'm guessing he saved me let's go and get a horse first of all okay we're going over here no we're going over here yep over here Out here, yeah. We need an edge Hi. in this fight. Oh. What? Oh, lag spike. Whatever. So, this is the stables. Will they spy horses in Davin's watch? Once sword one to Vivek himself. What can I help you with? These prices are just ridiculous. There's this one horse, 17,200 gold. Another horse, 42,700 gold. And there are three horses that co cost 42,700 gold. And then there is the Imperial horse, one gold. Well, that's cheap. You can even upgrade this one, so... Hmm. Oh, let's get that one. It's so expensive, no! This is like pretty glitched out, because I can see it. I know my friends online, and I know that some of them are playing right now. Well, 
I think this will have to do it for now. Uh, I'll go and play with my friends and... Well, I'll just dip around and... Yeah, do some random stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will try to record some more tomorrow or something, I don't know. But, goodbye, see you.